Okay, so I've um, got another one for you. So if you've done the branching databases with different fruits and things like that, this is a different way of looking at it. So this is a bit of an extension. So this is part two after you've done the other lesson. So um, if you have a look, you can see on here, I have invented some questions. Um, not necessarily about fruit, but if you have a look, you can see that the first question is, can you eat it? And we've got our yes branch and our no branch. Remember, all the questions have to be able to have a yes or no answer. Down the yes branch, the question is, is it sweet? And we've got yes or no. Down the no branch, we've got, does it have wheels? Yes or no. What I want you to do is see if you can think of an object that would be able to go in one, two, three, and four. For example, if we had a sausage, was one of our objects. Let's have a look, think about where it would go. Um, can you eat it? Yes. Is it sweet? No. It's number two. If you had um, a tennis ball, can you eat it? Well, unless you're a goat, no. Does it have wheels? No. A tennis ball could go in four. Can you think of an object that would go in one, two, three, and four? So they have to be something to do with being able to eat it or not, sweet or not, have wheels or not. Okay, so see if you can work backwards on one and I will do one more for you. Okay, brilliant. 